but I'm going to do, I'm going to do my personal routine right now. Um, we got a lot of people still on, um, and I'm going to go through that real quickly. So the foundation, um, which I know we don't have in stock right now is the shampoo, um, and the brushing. So this is, this is the foundation of the entire protocol because it works synergistically with the topical. Uh, but the first thing that I do when I get in the shower is I really rinse my hair with warm water and like, I have some styling products in now, so you can see. So what I would do is I'd get in the shower, I'd rinse out my hair uh, just with warm water and the law of thermodynamics, uh, you know, a warmer temperature will expand the, the scalp of the epidermis. Um, so I get in there, I rinse out just with, with really warm water um, and allow that to rinse out any, you know, styling products or whatever and it heats up the scalp. Then I take the shampoo, just like a normal amount of shampoo I put it in my hand, I massage it, and I really massage it just like a regular shampoo you would do with your shampoo. Once I really massage that and I develop a thick lather, I take the brushes and I start on one side. And this is the perfect example, guys, because I have some stuff in my hair. So it would be easier for me if I was in the shower and I had the styling products out. But this is how, and like women ask about this as well. If I have long hair, what do I do? How do I brush effectively? Guys, if, they, if there's stuff in your hair or if you have long hair, you start with small strokes like this. And as you keep going with small strokes, you'll be able to rush through the entire entire hair. So just small strokes until it stops, and then you just keep going, and it'll find its way through. Um, and then you can start brushing all the way through. So I start on one side. This is with the shampoo in. I really, really brush aggressively, and I brush through the entire scalp. And this is not about brushing the hair. The SM brush is stand for scalp massage. So... I'm really brushing my hair and they talk about like uh, scalp elasticity and um, how important that is for your scalp. And you can see guys by brushing, my scalp is really elastic and this is exfoliating the scalp and it's removing dead skin, dandruff and sebum. And by doing that, um, by doing that, you're helping the active ingredients of the shampoo penetrate the epidermis to get to the hair follicle where they need to go. And you're also triggering um, the inflammation um, response, the inflammatory response of the body, because what that does by brushing, you're creating micro trauma and you're, and you're helping uh, drive blood flow and you're stimulating the scalp and sending blood flow to the hair follicle. So after I do that, then I take a little bit more shampoo. I put a little more shampoo and I massage it in and I really massage it in into, into the scalp and I let that sit for five to 10 minutes. And then the last thing I do when I get uh, done with the shower, because you want to leave it in as long as possible, then I'll rinse the shampoo out. And I don't actually apply a conditioner in the shower, but I apply a conditioner when I get out of the shower. So I'll use like a Miracle 10 is, is what I personally like. Um, we're working on something right now. We're testing a few different um, products that trying to incorporate the ARB into a conditioner. Um, but I spray, I tell dry my hair when I get out of the shower. And then I take the Miracle 10, I, I spray like five to seven sprays and I'll get that and I'll massage it into my hair as a conditioner. So if you guys have dry hair, there's been a lot of questions about dry hair. Um, that's what I personally recommend and you won't have any issues. So that's the shampooing process. Then you can use any styling products. You can use anything afterwards. Not a problem. Um, the, the other, you know, the step two basically is the roller and the topical solution. Okay. So I use the 15. Um, and the roller you want to use on a dry hair, dry scalp, and you want to apply the solution on a dry hair, dry scalp, and you use the solution after the roller. So the roller is the first step. Okay. So you can see here that my scalp is a little red because I, I just brushed like crazy in the shower and I just did it again. Um, but um, I'll start here and I'll roll, I'll roll 10, 10 to 15 times over that area and this i actually regrew this entire area here with just this roller i had no hair here okay so i roll i'll do the other side and then my hair i mean my hair is thick so this is the only roller on the market designed specifically for hair loss in the hair follicle so i started in the back and i roll back and forth over the entire area that I was prone. I, I was really balding around the crown. I had no hair here. Um, and this, I regrew my hair with this roller and, and the ARB topical. So I go back and forth, back and forth. You can go side to side. You can go front to back, whichever you like. But I go over every area 10 to 15 times. 
and I kind of divide the scalp into two halves. I do the front and the back. Um, so then I'll come towards the front and I'll cover every area here 10 to 15 times. And if the, if, you know, the, this roller has like hair guards on the side. So this is designed, we spent a ton of time testing and, and tweaking the roller so it wouldn't pull your hair. Um, and so I can go back and forth with the roller without pulling my hair. But if it gets caught in your hair with the roller, all you do is just stop and just lift it up and then just continue going back and forth. And I'm making small strokes. I'm not going all the way from front to back. I divide it in half and I do the front half and then I do the, the back half. Okay. And then I'll come over here. I'll do the hairline. The other side of the hairline. And it's kind of hard for me to look in the camera because everything's backwards. And if, you know, you can also pull your hair back and flat and then that'll help you roll over it as well. Okay, and then once you're done with the roller, you immediately, I appreciate that, brother. Roller is definitely the best one I've ever used. Amen. Um, no doubt about it. So after you roll, then I take the topical solution. And for me personally, I use two to three dropper fulls, two to three ml. So I squeeze it a couple times, get a full dropper. And I start in the back of my scalp. And I touch the, the dropper to my scalp. And I make small little circles like this. And you really don't have to squeeze hard on the dropper. It, the solution will come out automatically kind of as you're going around. You can squeeze gently, but as you go around, the idea is to get the solution on the scalp. Um, you will get the solution in your hair regardless. It's not a, an issue, but um, you really put the dropper to the scalp and then just make small little circles, squeeze very gently, and go around the, any area that you're prone to hair loss or thinning hair. Okay. And again, I divide the scalp into two areas, the front, the back and the front. So I do the back first. And then if you can use just one finger, I recommend just using one finger, not taking your whole hand and massaging it in. But if you want to massage it in with one finger, that helps, you know, you can massage it in a little bit and it helps you. If you use your whole hand, you're basically taking the solution off of your scalp. So just one finger. So that's the back, <clears throat> excuse me, the back of my head. I'll take another full dropper and I'll start doing the front of my scalp here. So guys, this area, as you can see here, is really thick, thankfully, but I had no hair here. I was really, really balding in the front middle here. And this is, this has changed my life. So I just go around in little circles back and forth. And you'll find your own rhythm, how what works best for you. But I cover this area, and you can massage it in with one finger. But you want to cover a thin layer over the entire area. So I'll come over here in, in the, and you can see my, my scalp is a little bit red from using the roller and the brushing. But I'll come here in, in the temple. So I ran out, so I get a little bit more. So that was two mLs. I'll take another one, I'll cover this temple. And here I will massage it in. And it stings a little bit. You'll know, you'll know if you use the roller, the topical should sting a little bit uh, because that's a sign that it is penetrating the epidermis. And I'll just do a hairline here. And if it runs down the down the forehead, you just Kind of just massage that in and pick it back up. And that is the routine, guys. Uh, pretty simple. Um, you know, it's like brushing your teeth. I do it, do it at night. Um, and that is the that is the whole adage routine, guys.